Hello, today I'll be showing you how I cut glass bottles that I use as lovely succulent holders. I'll be using glass bottles, a Dremel with a diamond disc cutter, a bucket with water but you can use it with sink, anything, a dust masks and safety glasses, a marker and then grinding bits that is specifically for ceramics and glass. Now that we have our safety goggles on and dust mask we can begin by tracing where we would like to cut. I followed the label of the wine bottle as I really like the size and the shape of it. I just extended it a bit at the bottom as the label wasn't long enough. So now that I've switched the Dremel on, I want to try and pull the blade across the glass in nice even strokes to get the glass cut as straight as possible. After every single stroke or cut, you're going to want to place your glass back into the water and wet it again. This helps keep the blade wet, it helps keep the dust to a minimal and it prevents your glass from overheating. As soon as it overheats, it's going to crack and that is what you really want to avoid. What helps me have a steady hand is I hold the Dremel like a little potato peeler. Because um, then you can put slight pressure on it without losing control of the blade.
as you can see the blade is going through really nicely um, starting to go through the glass completely so that middle piece of glass is going to pop out at any moment when you're cutting you want to make sure that all the corners meet nicely and that there's a clean cut where the corners are because the glass is going to be a bit vulnerable there and it's going to crack really easy there um, if you put pressure on it and it's not cut through completely in the corners. I'm so happy that the middle part just popped right out and it was a perfect clean cut. Um, sorry, I just quickly had to go clean my glasses from all that water spray. So now I'm going to take my little tool craft hand health engraver as it's just so easy to handle and it just really gets the job done um, of course you can use your dremel and just place a different bit in there i'm using a rough grinding bit um, just to smooth out the edges there where there's lots of bumps in You'll want to try and do it in the water as much as possible to minimize the amount of dust. I'm now going to use a bit with a bit of a finer grit just to smooth it out even more and to make sure it can't cut. So for this step you can use very fine sandpaper if you have. As you can see when I'm done grinding the glass, it's so dull you can run your finger across it and it won't cut you. And that is why this step is so important. Now I'll be cutting the second wine bottle in a diagonal shape. I've already drawn two lines of where I think I should be cutting. Now I'm just darkening it and connecting the lines. Again, I'll be using the Dremel with the diamond disc attachment to cut where I drew the lines. Start with slow, short strokes so that you know you're going exactly on the line that you drew.
this bottle's middle piece also just popped right out. Now that you're done cutting the glass piece out, you can remove the label with water um, and what works really well is spirits to just get all that glue and yuckiness off. And that is how I cut glass bottles to plant succulents in. As you can see, it just takes a bit of time and patience. If you have any questions, please ask me down in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.